Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Here we'll be learning how to crimp a category 6 cable. Uh, we have right here a crimping tool. We have the category 6 cable here and then we have the, that is actually a UTP cable, that is the unshielded twisted pair cable and then we have the uh, RJ45 right here, you just have two pairs. And then here we have the cable tester, which we will use in testing our cable after we crimped it. Okay, so I'm going to push this aside for a while. Push this aside. Now, of category 6 cable, I'm going to untangle that quickly. And uh, looking at the both edges. Okay, sorry. <laughs> looking at both edges, would be patching both edges that's actually terminating it basically we're terminating both edges and um, we'll be creating a straight through cable okay guys so as you can see i've already tripped um, the outer jacket here out so i'm going to do that for the other side as well quickly <coughs> with my crimping tool just once this way then i can pull this out all right okay then in the category 6 we have this separator plastic okay with the rope that is that is used to actually extend the outer jacket so I'm going to cut both of them out okay so we have these guys as you can see for the both side okay so I'm going to untangle this and then um, arrange it properly and also do the same for this okay so as you can see guys, we have them in four pairs. That is the eight coppers. They are in four pairs. So we need to untangle them very quickly. So I'm going to do that. All right, so the color code for the 568B, which I would like to use and I will recommend you to use as well, is um, <clears throat> white, orange, orange. So I'm going to start that. A lot of people face challenges with um, actually positioning the colors especially when the cable is very hard okay just like the category 6 type we are using now so what we need to do is um, with our left hand we are going to make use of the thumb and then the index finger so the thumb would be on the cable this way okay that is the intersection of the outer jacket and then the copper stuff we're going to put the left thumb on the cable this way and then put the right the left hand okay index finger just underneath and hold it so firmly this way hold them so firmly this way okay so firmly now after doing that on the right this is the function of the right hand you're going to use the index finger and the thumb finger to always fit the color coding cables okay you fit the first one in this way which is the white um, or nest. You stretch it nicely to be straight and then you fit it in nest. And then the nest color here is um, that is white, orange, orange and then white, green needs to come in nest. So white, green is going to come in through a very easy position. Make sure you figure that out yourself. And then you bring it in nest. So after bringing it nest, you realize that there are three so you position them nicely and then stretch them to fit so that your left hand can hold them nicely so white orange orange and then white green the next one here should be blue so white green blue so i'm going to stretch that nicely and then uh, it should come in this way good good do it this way Okay, do it this way nicely. Stretch that very well. Okay, and the next one should be that is white, orange, orange. Okay, white, green, blue. And then white, blue needs to come next. Then after white blue, then the next here is green, and then green is here, so we need to pull it in this way, 
Okay, March. All right. Okay. Okay. So good. It's old age fem. You realize when you watch it this way, we have white, orange, orange, white, green, um, blue, and white, blue, green. And the next one that follows should be white, brown. So white, brown is to come in this way. Okay. It would come in the, just this way. Okay, as you can see. So you realize that over here. Okay, let me do that properly. Good. Realize that we have it aligned nicely. That's exactly what we are driving to. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green. Okay. So white, blue, green. White, blue, green. Okay. Very good. And then white, blue, green, and then white, brown follows. Then brown is the last. Okay, guys. So that makes the 568B color coding. Okay, and it makes um, one side being terminated. So, what we need to do here is uh, very simple. Please ensure you can see some tangling right here. You can easily correct that so that it won't be too late. Okay, so let's quickly correct that. Just corrected that nicely. Okay, then white, brown, brown. All right, guys, you realize that at this point in time, I have a, at this point in time, I have a very firm, firm, firm arrangement that is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, okay, and then white, blue, green, and then white, brown, brown. So after doing this, then we can go ahead and bring in our cream green tool. Then we firmly cut out okay the portions that are not needed okay as you can all see make sure you hold the crimping tool nicely firmly so we have the as you can all see white green white orange orange white green blue okay and then white blue green and white brown brown so put that in quickly nicely like this Alright guys, I believe you can see this. This is exactly how um, it should be. Nicely arranged and correctly arranged. When you're done with this, you ensure you hold it firmly this way. With your left hand and arrange it with your right. Thumb and index. Then you bring in your RJ45. Okay, and then um, you turn it upside down. Alright guys, after fitting it in, you realize what we have. We have the white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and white, brown, brown. I believe you can easily see that. That's exactly how, okay, both ends should look like. So I'm going to do the other end right now, and then we'll get back before we crimp it. Alright, so this is the second side of the, the other side of the cable. You realize I've completely arranged it white orange um, orange white green blue white blue green and white brown brown so what i'm going to do currently is to cut out the face and make it smooth nicely okay i think this is cool for me so hold the crimpy to crimping to family and then go like yeah so make sure that is cut out nicely okay and then we turn our RG45 nicely this way and then push this in nicely so as you can see guys this is the other side white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown 
I believe you can all see that. That is exactly how it should be. See now both of them are terminated with the actual um, color coding standard, which is the white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and white, brown, brown. So the next thing here is after fitting the ROG45, okay, jacks inside properly, you bring in your crimping tool where you have it labeled for the ROG45 cable. You just fit it in nicely, okay, and then you crimp once, okay, you hear that sound. That is it for this side, it has been crimped, and then we crimp the other side as well nicely. Okay, you hear the sound? That is it. All right, guys, you realize that looking at sideways of this cable, you realize that this has been pressed down a little, so it doesn't totally crimp. There's nothing you can do about that again. And then this, okay, in case you made a mistake somewhere and after crimping, you made a mistake, all you need to do is just cut this portion out and then you start again with a new RJ45. All right, guys, so it simply means you made our cable, but let's test it to ensure that we actually made it working before using it on the, on the network so let's test all right guys so um our tester is on currently so i'm going to fit this into the master section okay nicely this way okay and then fit the second one into the remote section all right guys so here we have um our cable being tested you realize that we have all the way from 1 to 7 showing that is um ROG 45 okay the ROG 11 shows from 1 to 6 that is if you are testing an ROG 11 cable okay so currently it means this means that our cable is working thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe